Okay, so lead code practice question. Uh, in this video, there are two goals. The first goal is to see how to solve this problem, and then we are going to do some coding work. And the second goal is to see how you should behave in a real interview. So let's get started. So remember, in a real interview, the first step is always try to understand the question. If there is anything unclear, please bring us a question to the interviewer, and also at the same time think about some ash cases. So let's take a look at this question. Uh, reorder data in log files. So if you are given an array of logs, each log is a space delimited string of the words where the first word is the identifier. So there are two types of the logs, the letter log and digit log. So all the words consist of lowercase English letters. It is letter log. And all words except the identifier consists of digits is digit log. So it says we are to reorder these logs so that the letter log comes before all digit log, okay? So letter logs are sorted in lexical graphical uh, by the contents. If their contents are the same, then sort them lexical graphically by their identifier. And the digit log maintain the relative order, okay? And they return the final order of the logs. So let's see some constraints. It says that uh, the length of the logs is between 1 to 100, and uh, each log has a length between 3 to 100. And all the tokens of the log i are separated by single space. Um, sure. So log i is guaranteed to have the identifier and at least one word after that identifier. Um, I think it sounds good. Um, let's um, actually start to do some coding work for this. So. Um, how to do it? So solution-wise, I don't think there is too much room to find a solution. It's mostly about based on the rules we implement the comparator, uh, and that's pretty much it. And uh, because we are doing a sorting, so it is a log n and is items of logs within the logs array. So having said that, let's do some coding work. So for coding, we care about the correctness of the code, the readability of the code, and of course, don't be too slow. So uh, let's see. Um, this is, uh, I think it's, it is arrays. Uh, let's see if it is going to be empty. So logs, it is never gonna be empty. So we could do arrays dot sort. Uh, this is the logs and the new comparator. Um, so new comparator. This would be a string. Let's say public. Oh, sorry, override. So public um, int compare to compare. I think it's just compare, right? And then we have the string. Uh, so it is log one, and string is log two. So first of all, we need to see whether it is letter log or uh, digit log. Uh, what we would do is um, so we will see. Uh, log, let's say the first one is log type is equal to uh, log uh, one dot uh, substring from zero to zero one zero one two three two three. All right, uh, log type one, of course, and then that's the log type two. So um, if um, log type one dot equals, or you can define a helper function. Uh, no, actually not need. So if it is log type is equal to, uh, or let's just define a helper function. Let's say it is letter log. Uh, is letter log. So 
So you're going to pass in a string uh, type return uh, type uh, dot equals uh, this is um, digit dig uh, no so it is let so if um, is letter log uh, if is letter log Type one and is letter log like uh, log type two. Then it is one case, and uh, if it is uh, if the first one is not a letter, but the second one is, then we should have return uh, so log. Uh, log two should comes first, then it is return one, and uh, if it is another thing, like log type two is digit, well the first one is letter, then we just need to return minus one. Uh, otherwise, none of them are letter type uh, are letter log, so both are digit log. We are going to return zero. Um, Okay, so we have already finished this one. Digit maintain the original order. The third one, uh, and uh, this this one is mostly about the comparison. So let's say uh, string log content is equal to log one uh, from log one dot substring. log one substring this is uh, uh, okay so we need to find the first uh, first so this is log one dot uh, index of uh, index of a space the first space so from the first space to the end, which is log one dot uh, uh, length. Actually, you can define some helper function to extract the log content, etc. Uh, but uh, we are just going to do it here uh, because it's, it isn't too much code. So log content one, log content two. This is log content two. Uh, yes. So if um, log one dot compare with compare to sorry compare to log uh, content to uh, if they're equal uh, so if they're equal then we then we need to compare the log type otherwise we just uh, return uh, log content one compare okay so uh, let's say this is content uh, compare is equal to this. So if a content compare is equal to zero, then we need to compare the the prefix. Otherwise, we just return the content pre uh, content compare. So if the content is the same, then it is about identifier. So it we will have the log identify. ID. Let's say just log ID. So log one from uh, zero to the first uh, space, and log two, uh, log ID two is similar. Uh, yeah. So this one we're to going to return uh, log ID one compared to log ID two. Uh, oh, that to uh, log ID 2. So after you're done with coding, uh, you need to do some testing. So for testing, usually just uh, go through a simple test case, explain how this piece of code is going to work, and uh, at the same time fix some bugs. Uh, but uh, we will just depend on this platform to help us debug at this moment. Alright, so it's typos here. Uh, let's see. Alright, so another typo on 50. Ooh, okay, so after we sort, we definitely need to return the logs. Uh, yeah. 
right so 51 okay it's wrong answer let's see why it is wrong so it is returning uh, digit 1 so if it is okay so it's letter so it's equal to the log type is from 0 1 0 1 2 3 so it shouldn't include so the output is digit coming first but uh, y digit is coming first so if it's log type 1 is not digit so if this is digit one is digit then uh, so if the log type 1 is digit well log type 2 is letter the log type 2 should come first right or uh, okay so this is a typo here which is log type 2 actually all right, so now it's good. Let's do a submission. All right, still wrong answer. I think there might be some typo still somewhere. Okay, so this is log two, log two and log one. Let's do another thing. Okay, so let's see, it's A1. Uh, well, why this is a a1 g1 so it says digit one let one etc so, okay so the letter log contents are all different have a relative other okay so this is a1 stuff a1 b1 stuff what is a1 b1 it's so for seven etc. Um, it seems like you cannot really tell uh, whether it is digit log or if it is content log just based on uh, yes I think we really need to so what we need to do is uh, we need so this is a content so this is a type okay let's say we have the is letter log is okay so I think I know what to do log one log one log one and this is log two log two log two um, yeah so I think I missed the sec the this this the second example so what we do is we need to see whether um, return uh, log dot uh, it is it is character dot is digit log dot uh, last or uh, car at log dot size or length right uh, minus one so if it is digit then it is it is not if it the last character is not digit then it is letter log okay let's do another submission okay now it works so that's it for uh, this coding question. Um, so if you have any question about the solution or about anything, feel free to leave some comments below. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.